Okay. I think it might have been strategy. Yeah. I mean, but it, Juju B does does not. I don't think she's like the the queen to go for the track. Like, oh, she sung really horribly, and like you know, no. I think it. I think it was a little bit strategic. Hi, I'm Tia Coffey and welcome to Attitude Tea Time brought to you in association with Tami, the truly inclusive social dating app for the LGBTQ plus community. Each week I'll be bringing you the freshly brewed tea on Drag Race UK versus the world and the latest eliminate. And this week I'm joined by Holland's dancing queen, it's Jamie Jacquet. First things first, congratulations on like your time on the show, making it onto the first ever international season of Drag Race, so. I'm very proud, I'm very proud. Thank you so much, Tia, I love it. <laughs> How did it feel to be like representing your country on that platform? It felt amazing, I cannot say anything else. It, it, there's so much um, pride and joy and my whole country has been so supportive and loving everything that I do. And I was really happy to showcase a little bit more of Dutch drag without the subtitle so people weren't too confused. <laughs> uh, and I hope by that I also made them really uh, curious and hungry to go back and watch Drag Race Holland season one and season two and you know, get through the subtitles with us. Told y'all I was gonna be back. This time you won't need your subtitles though. Now, obviously here um, at Attitude, we're asking the hard hitting questions. We get into things very deep, very journalistically and very heavy. So I have to <laughs> ask the most important question for me, which is what inspired your iconic dance moves in the lip sync? <laughs> <laughs> it only becomes iconic after people pick it up, right? I love it. I think, you know, with the Venga Boys being Dutch, I really wanted to channel that a little bit. And, you know, with the song being so like, you know, 90s, early 2000s, they have those little quirky choreographies in there. Um, so I just wanted to give something to the children that, you know, it's, it's going to be really fun and having a great time with it and acting a fool. And now, now it's my career, girl. I can barely move <laughs> my arms. <laughs> it truly is. And the season as a whole, to be honest has been really iconic you've been absolutely brilliant sort of getting all the way but it's your first time doing this in front of Rue and Michelle yes who are the icons of Drag Race how did it feel sort of like meeting Michelle meeting Rue and what didn't we get to see behind the scenes from the two of them I mean well, well, honey, as you know, there's a lot of hours in that day. Uh, I, I, it was the only time that I was really like, really intimidated by Michelle was at Snatch Game when she was behind that screen. And every time I would say something stupid, she would just go. Hey, Charles, what say you? Well, as my family is on that side, you might bring back a big, fat, juicy, hard piece of cheese. Oh, cheese. But it might be the STD. <laughs> Oh, of course, yes. That's freaking gross. Oh. <laughs> you probably wish you had a time machine so you could take that back. I wasn't scared. I was a little starstruck at first, especially with Rue, because I was like, oh my God, he's right there. And I've dreamt about this moment for so long. But I was also, they just give you so much knowledge and they give you so much great advice. And for them to go in on you means that they care. They really want you to step it up and be better and be greater and, and, and greater than the moment. And for that, I was just so grateful to be there. I, I didn't have a single doubt about anything, um, a single moment. Rue is very considerate. I have to say, you know, you hear all these stories, people going like, oh, he's very like, it's very impersonal and like cameras on, baby. Baby, you know what it is. It's a TV show and it's great. But I thought with Rue was so considerate and he really takes care of the girls and he's really thinking about, you know, the pain in your feet and you struggling and getting ready and doing all this in very short amount of time. And he's very respectful about it. And, and I really, really love that. Oh, that is lovely. And I think one thing that we really loved um, on this episode, because we all love like a musical moment. It's personally, it's my favorite moment pretty much every single season is when we get sort of like a, a girl group vibe. Do you think the right decisions were made? Blue's verse with the lipstick and the whole vibe was maybe a little bit stronger than Juju's. Um, so it could have maybe saved me a little bit in the end, but I don't try to doubt too much what happens. It happens in the moment. It was not my decision. I just take the situation as it is. But I think, I think that Mo and Blue had the strongest. I know my recording wasn't the strongest. It sounded really cute in the edit though. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. It's like, it was really good in the end. And in the end, the elimination, 
was it correct yes because it's your right to to decide what you who you want to eliminate and if you know you're going into a finale which in all stars is usually a lip sync finale and i am a strong fierce lip syncing dancing queen it's smart to eliminate me because i can be your competition and um if that was the reason why she eliminated me we'll have to wait and see for next week but yeah i mean it's it's i respect every choice she made and and um and i was just very grateful i think i was you know i was very gracious there we're calling it strategy we think it might be strategy i think it might no, have no. been strategy yeah i mean but juju b does does not i don't think she's like the the queen to go for the track like oh she sung really horribly and like you know no i think it i think it was a little bit strategic but that's how it felt it might not have been but it felt a little bit more strategic yes if you were sort of playing the game strategically who would you have eliminated in that moment if i would be in the top of this episode i would have definitely eliminated mo because she is such a strong well known for recording and her vocals and uh even in her talent shows and you know all of these songs that she's produced and all of that but as well as juju um I mean basically all of the girls because they are all recording artists, you know. It could have just been in the end just me and Blue and be like which one is it going to be because Bag is so well known for her much better things and and recordings and as well as Juju and Mo. I mean it's true. That is actually very true. And I know you struggled a fair amount with your recording process and as She you said did. it sounded sounded gorgeous in the end. Mm -hmm. Is that something you might want to pursue? Are we expecting any music? Well, I can very happily announce that I've been working on my vocals and on this Friday I will be releasing my very first single, which is an amazing collaboration with a Dutch DJ called Lady B. The single is called Turned Head. You can pre-save it right now as we speak and it's an amazing house classic banger and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So yes, it definitely inspired me um to pop up a couple of stuff, yeah. So let's bring it back to the shady thing to get into uh. it. <laughs> what do you think was the most gag worthy lipstick choice this season? Because they've all been gags to be honest with you. But what was the biggest well, gag for you? I mean, you know, when I was saved and then the other person had my lipstick, that was a good gag. I was like, right, <laughs> there we go, episode one. If you won, Jimbo, who would you have picked? <laughs> JJ, I love you, and this means nothing beyond um, a bond that I felt like I had to honor. I had pulled your lipstick. It's good to know that we're choosing alliances oh. over some feedback from the judges. But I think the gaggiest was when it got real when Pen when Blue eliminated Pangina, because that was the moment where we all realized, like, oh, it doesn't have to be. Like we are not like the judges. We don't go off a of track record or who did worse in the challenge. We go off on what and how we can clear the way for us to be winners, um, and especially the emotional reaction from from Pangina. So that was the gag, most gag worthy uh, choice of lipstick. Do you think the the lipstick format is fair? Are you okay with it, or would you have preferred it to be judged uh, as a normal season? I think that a progress of a normal season and in the end the finale is um sometimes a little bit more interesting to watch or a little bit more um empowered because you know it's the strongest girls and the girls who exceed and the girls who push themselves to new levels that will end up in the finale and that you're rooting for so you get this whole journey of following them um mm. so that is you know it 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 is a beautiful season to watch like for example drag race holland or or normal seasons but be that being said, we know what the format is. We know that it's all stars. We've had one shot. This is the rematch. So you know you can play tactics in a different game. So I I think that you know it's a valid season for how it goes and the choices are being made. Is it um is it the most comfortable? No, it's not. It's not. But I think that by seeking discomfort, you become a better person. So it's hard to um, it's hard to say it's right or not right, you know. That's not you can. It's hard to say. Janie Jacke just constantly cracking out the words of wisdom. <laughs> I know, and, this, and when I see myself in the show, I'm like so focused and so serious. I'm like, girl, lighten up. I was like, I was just like, I need to be ready in the moment. I need to keep my eye out. I was like, I yeah, baby, I you know. Here she here she is. <laughs> she's here. She's here. She's fabulous. And you know what? You are absolutely wonderful on the show it was so good Thank to watch you. you again through this whole process but i've got to ask one final question who are you rooting for to win i am definitely uh looking back at while watching the show as well and all of the things that you see and i think that 
I, I love it when a queen is just becoming something else and something greater than she is and or was in the past. And for that, I, I will, I'm definitely rooting for Blue Hydrangea to win and snatch this crown, bring it home. It will mean so much for Ireland and for the United Kingdom uh, in general for her to be crowned 100%. You heard it here first. You're backing Blue to win. Wonderful. <laughs> it's been absolutely gorgeous speaking to you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your journey. Can't wait to see you in the UK performing with Cheryl, performing everywhere and all of that kind of thing. So looking forward to it. And Thank um, you so much for having me. You've been wonderful. Thank you for watching Attitude Tea Time brought to you by the Tamey app. Make sure you join us again next week for some more scalding hot tea. Bye, babes.